Good morning, everyone. We're the Fantastic Four. I'm Vincent. I'm here with John. I'm here with Andrew. Our fourth is on remote. So today for our project, we're presenting to you our Etch-A-Sketch, which as you see is hooked up to some electronic devices. And it all started with the basic concept of we weren't so quite good at using the Etch-A-Sketch when we were children. So we decided to use what we've learned as undergrads and amplify the user experience. Now, it came with many challenges. And I'll have Andrew explain some of those Wait, Wait. Yeah, meet the laptop. So I'll hand off to Andrew now. We'll describe some of the engineering challenges we had when we were trying to make this happen. Yeah, so the first step that we had to do was uh, make a fixture for the etch sketch because the motors had to be stable and we had to make sure like wires aren't coming undone and all that kind of stuff. So that was challenging because our first fixture had the motors bent, which therefore the knobs weren't turning properly and we could have broke either the uh, couplers for the motors or the knobs since they're just plastic. And it was creating like weird resistance because um, just it wasn't straight. So you know, when things are diagonal and trying to turn straight, it's, it isn't gonna work. Uh, so we redid our fixture design after our first demo and we managed to get them straight working with the, uh, the shop over in Link and that's kind of what we got right now worked pretty well, actually. Uh, so then, after that, we moved on to hooking up the touchscreen. And when we were hooking up the touchscreen, it was our first time dealing with touchscreens, really. So trying to figure out how to get them to talk to the motors properly, like that whole troubleshooting process with the pain, because there's a lot of Googling, and there was a lot of like reading forums of people having issues, and like we'd get errors that we'd never seen before, and all that kind of stuff. Um, but after suffering through that, we then had to like get the coding right to have it talk to everything. So when we were communicating with the touchscreen and motors, um, we'd get the touchscreen to work or we'd get the motors to work. But we didn't quite get them to work at the same time very easily. So initially we were thinking of using I2C communication, and that's where we realized that it can't really talk to both at the same time. So we switched over to SPI. Uh, so since it was the first time using SPI, really, we now had to Google all that stuff and troubleshoot all that stuff. So that whole communication process was just not, not a good time, but we managed to figure it out. <laughs> yeah. uh, and then once we got it, them both talking, our biggest issue was mapping the coordinates of the touchscreen with the Etch-a-Sketch. So our touchscreen, uh, the X goes from like zero to 6,000 and the Y is zero to 3,000. And the Etch-a-Sketch is not the same like, scaling. So when we're reading in the values, the touch screen is changing sensitivities based on your pressure, and it's changing the X and Y that's different than the Etch-a-Sketch. So we had to find a way to convert the touch screen coordinates so the Etch-a-Sketch re Etch reads them at values that it looks similar to what you would draw on, on the touch screen. So when we did our last demo, we're getting Y values all over the place, because if you put too much pressure somewhere, it's just shooting somewhere else for no reason. Yeah, it creates uh, random processing. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a huge mess. But now we got it where it's pretty close to like what you're actually able to draw. So that took, took a long time. It was pretty challenging. But I think we overcame it to, to the best of our ability. And then for the software, we use the motor share libraries in the STMP. The STMP is the controller that we're using for the touchscreen. And for the hardware, we just use the stepper motors, the motor share, the, a laptop, and our fixture. Um, the picture down below, if you can't see this right here, that's basically what's connected. And then the block diagram are the connections and uh, the pins. So basically what's happening is the touchscreen is connected to the controller. This is a STMP. And then that's connected to the motor shield, which is mounted on the Arduino Uno. And that's what's powering the motors. So this is the left motor and the right motor. This controls the horizontal direction and this goes in the X direction. So next, um, we're just going to start demonstrating. Controls. Yeah. So Andrew's going to Andrew's going to try his best to replicate a drawing that we have already have predetermined. Yeah, I, just want to hold this over yeah, I can hold this. Yeah, just yeah so Andrew's going to come over here and demonstrate a drawing that we've already pre-made, and we will show you how how yeah. well we've gotten it so, to. So we can stock the code it, out to work for this. It's the first I drew this on paper. Like pre-drew it. 
And then this is the this is the drawing that we yeah. plan to replicate as best as possible. Yeah. So so we had like some straight uh, horizontal vertical lines, some curves. We're gonna place it under the touch screen and just trace over it. All right. Good. Slow and smooth. <laughs> and as you can see, that's pretty close to what we've already pre we have already pre drawn. So y'all, my people, can see what we're dealing with. Pretty good similarity. Not 100 percent accurate, but pretty pretty damn close. It's a, it's a little shaky because as it's taking your y values, like it's taking them as you're drawing them, you can only draw at like such a certain speed without yeah. it like missing values. And the slower you draw, like the more you like shape. So it's yeah. like getting different like X and Y values. Um, and then we also start a little more over on the screen. So the uh, horizontal axis just like cut off at a certain point because it can't go past the etch -a sketch screen. Um, so like we, we like stopped it. So it wouldn't just blow up the etch -a sketch. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much our demo. Um, ideally, you could draw anything on a piece of paper, stick it under the touch screen, as long as it meets the dimensions of the paper we have there. And you should be able to replicate it on, on the etch sketch Well, that's our project. Does anyone have any questions for us? Anyone? All right, thank you, guys. <laughs>